Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today it's time to share my experience of using this Gusted Audio H26 Balance Pre-Amplifier and Headphone Amplifier Stage built in together on this chassis. Retail for $1,150, currently available. Fully balanced architecture with quality parts inside, high quality resistor and op amps and Nichicon caps and everything built very nicely. The sound itself is doesn't introduce anything to your system other than giving you performance enhancement in overall sound reproduction. To do that, it has two Torider transformer built inside for each channel. Left and right has dedicated power supply units to employ all the powers that it may need, whether you're using headphone amplifier stage or pre-amplifier stage. And headphone amplifier stage and pre-amplifier stage can be turned off completely. It has all the accessories and remote control that come with it. But for the owner's manual, they don't have like little booklet anymore. So that's the yeah, little downside because it has uh, the mini uh, CD-ROM that included. So I assume that is for owner's manual, but I don't have any computer with uh, CD drive that I'm using right now, so I cannot use it or I can't see what's inside. So that is uh, one thing that I cannot share with you, but overall operation and everything is very simple, very straightforward design. Build quality just about is right for the price and Gaster design like A26 or R26, highly popular decks that they introduced last year. So this one is improved version of previous generations of the pre-amplifier stages and headphone amplifier stage that they've been offering in the past. So this one has fully balanced architecture even if you are using RCA analog input, right? So the way that they does it, single end input directly goes into fully balanced socket. That is very nice design. So I was using the H26 on my desktop, 3.5 millimeter stereo jack directly connected from my Mac Studio to this H26 with RCA Y cable from 3.5 to RCA left and right Y cable. And I was listening my Sony MDR7506, a moon drop, a Venus headphones, and this uh, uh, Veron 1 headphones. And overall sound is very, very nice. Even without using any decks at all, just using you know, directly from my computer and sound is very accurate and natural. Listening to my own voice or piano tones because I play acoustic guitar and my wife play a piano. So that is uh, my meaning of accurate sound. So for that regard, this H26 can totally re-deliver sound accurately, naturally and in well refined and engaging manner without adding sound signature of its own. I tried this H26 pre-amplifier stage in my streaming setup. Started off using with SMS SU1 little $80 deck with a game chip. It sounded real nice, nice and rich and you know, all AKM sound signature. I listen to my music and watch TVs and it sounded real nice. And then I switch it over to JC Acoustic UDP5 and sound is totally shows the, uh, the actual deck sound signature. So going from SU1 deck to UDP5 from JC Acoustics is, it sound more open and a little bit more forward and slightly brighter side of sound signature. H26 can totally can re-deliver accurately as it feed. It doesn't matter what kind of DAC or source component. So that is a very good strength of this H26 pre-stage. And I listened to it, then I moved it here, pairing with this 
shared audio AGR mono blocks, Sony HAV-Z1ES serving as a music server, and again, I tried a few different decks, starting with SMS SUX and Musician Audio Pegasus 2 R2R uh, deck and all of those four decks that I try, right? They sound very nice, but it's not clicking. When I was using in my streaming rig, I paired with Ice Power 500 watts mono block, which is Sabai A8 mono blocks that I've been using. It sounded very clean and dynamic with accurate and like nice grip on overall bass control and everything, so very impressive sounding. In this main system, when I'm using with AGR mono blocks, which is like only 20 watts of class A power output, driving these two speakers, JVL100 class A 75th and Pioneer TED S1EX towers. When I'm listening back and forth with all those four decks, it wasn't delivering the sound that I'm looking for, pairing with this H26, Synergy is not clicking. Then I uh, come to my mind, I have Gustard AH90, the autolytic version. So AH90, I pull it out from the shelf and you know, listen it again, boom, right there. The, it clicked and it opened spacious and dynamic and refined sound signature that it delivered together. Synergy is very impressive. When I was using with Musician Pegasus 2, it sounded really nice and rich and very engaging, but it's not really giving me dynamism that I was hoping to achieve. But as soon as I switched to the Autolytic AH90 from Custard, it totally re-delivered. Everything I'm looking for is right there. I try headphone stage back and forth with this H26 and AH90. The H26 sounds better, more open and more refined and more precise notes that I could hear it back. Overall, the background noises and darker and cleaner background is H26 can totally show it without introducing any sound signature into my system, re-delivering everything as feeded from my deck to my other components that I pair with, as even the speaker sound signature is. And this AGR uh, amplifier have a nice and rich and warm side of uh, neutral sound with a slightly, um, what do you call it, roll of highs in upper range area, those kind of uh, signature sounds are totally retained. That is the, another reason why I wasn't enjoying with SMS SUX or Musician Pegasus 2 and this H26 and AGR combination. So this AH90 totally opened the door and gave me floodgate opening kind of like openness and spaciousness and dynamics that I was looking for. If you have AGR amps, I will highly suggest you to try this AH90. So back to this H26. For the price and performance, I'm not complaining anything. And volume control, right? That is a, one of the most impressive feature. As soon as you turn the volume control up, it won't rise right away, it will rise smoothly. They call it matrix full level volume control or something. So that's what they call it. I don't know what the actual term is. So that kind of volume control that they feature, it has a nice clicking sound with smooth turning knob. So inside the menu is very simple. You just push and hold the main knob and it will get you inside of the H26, it only have uh, four different features. I really wish that they have a balanced control. I'm not looking for base management because these kind of uh, components are designed in mind with purest uh, music lovers and audio files. So doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, just a basic stuff with very good, high performance, high quality noise control and sound quality that 
it can re-deliver it to you accurately. So that is the main purpose of these kind of pre-stages. Everything combined, they priced it right. It's just about perfectly priced in my opinion. You got fully balanced architecture in and out with very clean and transparent sound with very nice noise control. You might wonder what is the improvement that you might expect from using this H26 Pre or headphone M in your system. What it will do is give you re-delivering the sound as it feed it, but enhancing it by controlling background noise, giving you better channel uh, separation, noise interference. So those are work very well controlled without any background noise at all that humanly can hear. So that kind of improvements and overall tone and balance is nice and natural sound with good refined sound to it. So if you are looking for high performance pre-amplifier stage with HEFO amplifier built in together, you should audition this H26 in your system. Highly recommended my friend. Thank you for watching and happy listening. Yeah. Uh -huh.